Welcome to Church Crossroads Kids. So great to see you here today. Hey, we've got a great new song for you guys to learn. It's called Ask, Seek, Knock. And it's coming up right now. Let's worship. Reading my B.I.B. early And this is what it says to me It tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J.E.S.U.S. Came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go When you ask when you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, he cares When you see, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door Tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how J.S.U.S. came down to us and gave his best. Out of doubt, the best friend you'll ever know. But our God knows exactly what I need. So I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, he cares. When you see, he's there. When you knock, knock. When you ask, He cares When you see, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you seek, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask, he cares When you seek, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door
been saved through faith And it's not from yourselves It is the gift of God It is the gift of God Happy October and happy fall, Crossroads Kids! Can you believe we've already gone through September? And I'm just sitting outside today, catching a little bit of the warm fall sunshine before we get into the cooler weather. I sure hope that you're having a great week. In our new month, we're going to start a whole new theme that you're going to learn more about in your stories and Bible time today. But I wanted to share with you the big idea. This week, the big idea is be truthful with your whole life. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. It's important always to be truthful and tell the truth. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and an awesome week, and I'll see you next week. Hey, Crossroads kids. This month we're talking about masks. Oh, wait, not this kind of mask. Right now, lots of people wear these masks to help with the virus. But did you know even before the virus, a lot of people were wearing masks? I don't mean dress up masks or superhero masks or anything. I mean, a not good type of mask. Sometimes people wear masks by pretending to be someone they aren't. And this isn't so good because God made us to be ourselves. Let's listen in to learn a bit more about what we mean about this other type of mask. Oh, hey. Hello, planet Earth! It's me, Graham, professional astronaut, broadcasting live from outer space. You know, not a lot of people thought I would make it all the way to Saturn, but you know what? They were right. <laughs> it's just a costume. I'm still, I'm still on Earth. I love to dress up and pretend to be other people. Don't you? I mean, I love to dress up in costumes and wear scary makeup or funny masks. It's out of this world. <laughs> because I'm an, because I'm an astronaut. Oh, but today we're talking about what it's like to live our lives without masks, without costumes. What it's like to live with integrity. Now, integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Hey, it's harder than it sounds to live with integrity. There's so many reasons to pretend to be someone you're not. I mean, you may want people to think you're funny. You may want your teachers to think that you're smart. E equals MC squared. The capital of Mongolia is Ulaanbaatar. A woodchuck can chuck 32 cords of wood. And you probably want your friends to think that you're cool. Cool kids still dress like this, right? See what I mean? It isn't always easy to just be true to who you are. In today's story, we'll learn about some guys who were under a lot of pressure to be like everybody else. We'll find out if they were able to stay true to who God made them to be. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Daniel. Chapter 1 Daniel was only a very young man when King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon conquered the land of Judah. Nebuchadnezzar made sure that God's people wouldn't rebel by taking Daniel and other young men from royal families in Judah and marching them back to Babylon with him. Will we ever see our home again? Daniel's friends were just as scared and confused as he was. Where will we live? What will he do to us? I sure hope the food is decent. Daniel tried to reassure them as the imposing city gates rose ahead. God will be with us, whatever happens. The king chose the brightest and best young men from Judah and ordered that they receive special training. After three years, you will get to be very important and serve me. 
The chief official Ashpenaz took charge of Daniel and his friends. <laughs> tut tut, those wishy-washy Hebrew names just won't do. You need new ones. New what? Names. <laughs> Let's see. Daniel, we'll call you Belteshazzar. And you three will be Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <laughs> Are those names or is he just sneezing? You'll learn our language, of course. And all the Babylonian writings. <sighs> Daniel's heart sank as he realized what was happening. The king wanted Daniel and his friends to forget they were God's people. He wanted them to become Babylonians. But Abednego was worried about something else. Hey, I, I'm about to starve. Any way we can get a bite to eat? Mm -hmm, right this way. Ashpenaz led Daniel and his friends to a big table set with mouth-watering foods. Mmm, steak. Or those Babylonian buffalo bites. The cake's got at least nine layers. Only the best straight from the king's table. <sighs> oh, the food smelled delicious. But Daniel pulled his friends aside. Guys, if this food is from the king's table, that means it's been offered to false gods first. Uh-oh, not good. Our new names and training are one thing, but if we eat this food, it's like we're saying we're okay with false gods. But we gotta eat something, man. We can ask for different food, simple stuff that hasn't been offered to the false gods. But that chocolate cake! A bandico! Okay, okay. Daniel and his friends turned back to Ashpenaz. They tried to ignore the delicious smells wafting from the table. Uh, this all looks great, but could we eat something that's not from the king's table? It doesn't need to be anything fancy. The king is my master. He's decided what you must eat and drink. What if you don't eat this and he sees you looking worse than the other young men? He might kill me. No matter what Daniel said, Ashpenaz was too fearful to listen. So Daniel approached the guard assigned to take care of them. Please, just test us for 10 days. Give us nothing but vegetables to eat and water to drink. See how we look then. Hmm. Well, if Brussels sprouts are your thing. For 10 days, the guards gave Daniel and his friends nothing to eat but veggies and water. I could get into the habit of cabbage. I like broccoli, probably. Pa pass the peas, if you please. I just want a hamburger. Let me tell you, it wasn't easy to say no to all those delicious foods the other young men got to eat. But at the end of 10 days, the guard called everybody out. Line them up. He strode past the other young men. Good, good. I can see you've been eating well. When the guard reached Daniel and his friends, he stopped in surprise. What? You've been eating rabbit food, but you look even better fed than the others. <laughs> Daniel smiled. God had helped them grow strong even without eating the food offered to false gods. Okay, fine. You can keep eating veggies and water. Rats. Thank you. God continued to give Daniel and his friends knowledge and understanding as they studied, and at the end of their training, they were brought before the king. Let's see what you know. How many inches in a meter? 39.3701. Hmm, what do you call a group of porcupines? A uh, prickle. If it takes eight men 10 hours to build a wall, how long would it take four men? No time at all, because the wall's already built. Hmm. How are you all so smart? The one true God gives us wisdom. Hm, well, we'll see about that. Anyhow, you're ten times smarter than my other advisors. You get to be very important and serve me. Daniel and his friends eventually became the king's most trusted advisors, and even though they served the king of Babylon, they never stopped standing strong for the one true God in everything they said and did. So as we learn from the story about Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we need to be truthful with your whole life, not just parts of it. And that's our big idea this week. I know there are times in my life where I've worn a mask. I wasn't being who God made me to be. 
Even as a Christian, there have been times when I was pretending to be someone I wasn't or, or hiding. I acted one way at work and at church, but at home I did things that weren't truthful to my character of being a child of God. Sometimes it was not telling the truth. Sometimes it was telling part of the truth. Sometimes it was just being mean or lazy. I like to think as I've gotten more mature, I'm truthful as much as possible. That's also called having integrity. The good news is that when I have not been truthful with parts of my life, God still forgives me. And he loves me so much that he sent his son Jesus to save me. And he sent Jesus to save you too. Can I offer you a blessing? It's a gift, so you can receive it with your hands out like this. And you can bow your heads with me. Crossroads kids and parents, may you be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit so that you may walk in both his truth and also walk in the truth with all parts of your life. And just like Daniel did, that you would resist the easy way and choose to do what is right. I pray that Jesus would be near you every day so you could feel his strength, power, and love. And all his children said, Amen. Thanks, Crossroads Kids. I want to have a good week with you guys and see you hopefully soon. Thank you. Well, a new month means a new memory verse to learn. And this month, we've got a fun song for you to sing along with at home so you can get this verse into your heart and remember it. Because the Bible says when we hide God's word in our heart, it actually helps us to live for God. So check out this song, learn it along with us. And if you send us a video of you singing the song, well, you never know what might happen. All right, here we go. Whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. 